I love you guys too. I don't know. Yeah, the kid, maybe it's just not. Maybe it just doesn't allow you to do it. It just natively picks up whatever it wants to pick up. I guess. Because it's natively picking up our camera. Natively. All good. Don't forget your thumbs up for Stephanie. Love heart uh, from the of the rest. You're gorgeous. Oh, I, I, I'm assuming you're talking to Stephanie, but I'm going to say thank you anyways. Comments are off. Don't you get enough attention? I know. Comments are on now. So yeah, we're comments, good. Comments are on now. So come on in. You guys can hear us just fine. All right. So we'll give it like, I'm going to give it like five, like a minute or two on here. Yeah. We'll take that. And we're in here too. So we All have right, this everybody. Going. Let's try this again. Okay. Go over to Crime Weekly and find the live. It's weird because I see myself in like two places. It's almost like I'm as important as Derek or something. That's crazy. That, that, that bothers me. It doesn't pick it up after all that work. What did you do? Plug it in? Yeah, it's probably no. The mic's definitely working because watch I mean, the, what you said all that work. Like, what's all the work that you bringing did? it down here? Bringing it down here, having to set up the. Are stage. you going to be able to record the podcast with Cody tonight? I'll have to figure it out. I'll have to figure it out. So the only thing is, again, learning as we go. Maybe I can do this. Hold on. So, so the camera is on a tripod. Go over to Crime and Weekly. I'm trying to read your comments. Go to Crime Weekly. Go to Crime Weekly. And jump on the live. There we go. I see the numbers going down. Alright, we're at six sixteen. We're at one ninety one over here. Go to Crime Weekly. Derek has another podcast called Winner Circle with Cody from Big Brother. They talk about uh, the Big Brother, Big the Brother. New Big Brother season <laughs> yeah. every nice every week. Mike. All right, so you guys see the mic is working. All right, I love it. I, but again, I, I'll tell you this though. I don't know if it's the mic here. Can you guys hear me tapping on that? There's no way you can. As I blow your eardrums. I kept hitting it. Crime Weekly did not end five minutes ago. The first Crime Weekly stream ended five minutes ago pineapples. because Adam, uh, not Adam. It's, it's not all Adam, working. Okay, Adam. great. He it's marked all it for kids. So. so I okay. They're saying I can hear it. They're saying they can hear the mic. Oh, good. Great. Perfect. <laughs> all right. So we got on. 289 over there. The 517 people in here should go over to Crime Weekly. We love you too. Look at my sticker. I'm trying to read your comments, but they're coming in super fast. Slow down the chat. I don't know how to do that, but. Hi, Brittany. Thank you. I really keep the, the comment Lord, loud and clear. Okay, good. So we're good. That's good. And the and the camera's good too, right? Crime Weekly shirt on Ghost Investigation St. Augustine last weekend. Got to represent. I love that. Undercover pineapples in here going like crazy. <laughs> love you both. We need Crime Weekly hoodies. We got Crime Weekly hoodies. Go over to crimeweeklypodcast.com slash shop. And we got hoodies. All right, I'm going to sign off here. Everyone left in here, go over there. I'm going to sign off. Perfect. My arm is cool. hurting. Camera like, quality is perfect. Look how big my muscle is. Now. We're using the, I actually I brought all the camera Crime Weekly. and microphones from, I'm yelling into, okay. from here. I'm here. Perfect, perfect. All good. And anybody who's new, subscribe, please. Appreciate it. Here we go. All right. I moved. Slow down chat. How do you slow it down? You, all right. So you no, guys are seeing no that too. I'm trying to slow it down. You can do, try pop out chat and maybe then you'll have more options. Where's that? It's moving slower now though. Yeah. I need people to slow down for us. No, don't slow down. Keep going. What's the what's that? What happened? It's a, a feature, so it, it makes it stretch it for you. There we go. So we're good. Pineapples. Hi from what flag is that? It's good. Big fan. So excited that you're live. Excited for tonight, but Whitney. Yeah, bye Whitney. She's going home. <laughs> She's definitely going home. You don't know that. Yes, I do know that. She's going home. Yo. It's going it's so, so fast. fast. Oh, Costa Rica. What up, Costa Rica? Wish I was there. That's for sure. Big brother fan and you both. Did you guys see my story this morning? Hanging out with Mark Cuban. We got to listen to him. He's got a new app coming out called Fireside. It's out now. It's out. It's kind of like Clubhouse because there's like a waiting yes. list. I actually don't. We actually, did I tell you we got accepted? 
Oh, we did? We got accepted. It was so a very on, short waiting list. Yeah, we're on Fireside now. <laughs> and I was, like, listening to some of the other stuff. It is kind of a lot like Clubhouse. Yeah. That's really what it is. Like, you can, like, it, it's a lot like Clubhouse. But I'm sure there's something proprietary that makes it different. different. Yeah. I would hope so. Yeah. Well, we'll see. Hello from Buffalo, New York. Hello. Hello. Hello from Detroit. Hello. Want to have coffee with y'all? I'd love a coffee right now. Me too. I'm hoping Mark can help with the cost of pharmaceuticals. That would be good. Derek, love your hat. This is uh, Ravenous Brewery in Rhode Island. My best friend owns this brewery. <laughs> so even if you don't like beer, if you want one of these hats, you can go to ravenousbrewery.com. He's my literally my boy. And honestly, literally. I'm not even a big drinker, but I love his hats. I have this. How many hat times, colors do I have this hat? Use, every time many use, colors. Yes. He's always wearing a hat. He puts a lot of effort into looking good. My hair takes too long, as Stephanie pointed out. Do you watch Big Brother? I've only watched <laughs> I've only watched Derek's season of Big Brother. The best season. I had to support. Watch it. Not support. Research. I research him. Make sure it wasn't crazy. But he is. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I see how it is with him. He's going to just try to manipulate the shit out of me. Yeah. We'll see. Nevada. Actually, did you, you missed the first part. Um, podcast movement, there's... Uh, one in Vegas in a couple months, and then there's one in Los Angeles in March. There's, South Dakota. There's more? Big Brother has ended in the UK. Yes, it has. Hi, Rachel. My wife. Share my pics in my Crime Weekly shirt. Not sure where to do that. Yeah, Instagram. send them to Instagram. Yep. And if you send them to Instagram, 90% of the time I'll catch them, I'll post them, and then I save them to the highlight under merch. Slovenia. There's so a lot from Slovenia. If you're not following us on Instagram, it's Crime Weekly. Oh, hold on. There's a lot, a lot, a loud cart going by. Seattle. Oh, it feels like it's never gonna get here. Croatia. Wow, it's crazy. It's crazy, like. Liverpool. Hey, hey from Serbia. Oh, we got someone from Rhode Island representing. Undercover pineapple could be your alliance. Dude, it would be. If I go back, you guys will know. Undercover Pineapple will be the alliance name. <laughs> oh. Netherlands. Where you get your sunglasses, she asked. Oh. Everyone asked that today. Everyone's been um. asked about your sunglasses. Hopefully it's one that we have a brand deal with. What do they say? <laughs> it says, it says, Warby Parker. No, it does not. <laughs> it doesn't. <laughs> it does. What does it say? I don't know. I think they're coach. But I got them from Glasses USA, who I do have a partnership with. There you go. See, that's good. <laughs> yeah, you get the wrong name, though. Warby Parker's are one to of our sponsors. Trying to get me fired on the podcast. Oh, no, it's not on YouTube. You're right. I get that mixed up all the time. Yeah, definitely from – I definitely got them. I, I get all my glasses from Glasses USA. Actually, I have to order Aiden some because he lost his again. Just checking battery life. I'm tech guy here, We too. look younger than we are. I'm only 25 years old. I don't I'm know 22, what you guys man. I think I look old for my age. Are you what? guys in the alley? Kind of. That's a good question it's, from Jen. What are we doing here? We're we're here for podcast movement. This is a podcast convention conference, but we had a lot of fun yesterday because we went to all the exhibits and we got like all these t-shirts. <laughs> so apparently Derek came to Nashville to just get free t-shirts from all the no, vendors. No, a free microphone is what I really okay. wanted. I'll be honest. <laughs> I came here with the like I wanted to get a Sure SM7B, and Sure's the one brand that didn't show up no but we we saw some because we want to get new mics for the podcast better to make the sound later. better and you know there's a bunch of stuff we have to do to make the podcast better like audio wise i don't know how to do it derek claims he does so he's gonna do it i'm gonna make it it's gonna you think it sounds good now if you guys think our podcast sounds good now wait until i get this equipment it's expensive anybody who's in like the podcast or radio industry you guys know already it's an expensive thing because it's not just the mic it's the cables. Then there's this thing called the cloud lifter. Then you need an interface. And we want the roadcaster. Yeah. The we roadcaster's fire. Um, but we, again, it's all money. So we want to come here, try out the stuff. Um, we've gotten to go to some really good, like actual like speaking sessions where different people in the industry, te you know, talk to you about how to make the podcast better, how to be more engaged with your audience. And one of the things, which is part of the reason we're doing this is. I have a pretty big following on Instagram. You have a, a big following on Instagram, but you have a huge it's following growing, on YouTube. Yeah. And we want to convert uh, those people that are following us there 
to Crime Weekly because Crime Weekly is it's our passion. It's just what we enjoy doing. So it's like I have two babies. One's you know. YouTube and one's Crime Weekly. Yes. So I want everybody to love both of my babies. You did say that last night. Mm -hmm. You did say that. And so, you know, we just, again, we're not pretending like we have a handle on this. As you guys know, we're still very new. We've only been doing the audio version since December 4th. That was our, our first episode. Yep. And we've only been doing YouTube since April. So we YouTube, she's got that down. But the audio side to it, it's a whole different beast. It is. So, it really is. So we're learning that. We're learning the different the software out there that can help make our videos even better. So we're just looking at everything and we, we don't want to ever become complacent. And this is the way you network, you grow, you continuously learn. That's always a recommendation for everybody is like never rely on what you already have. Always try to progress and get better at what your, what your craft is. So we went and we saw some of that stuff and tried on a lot of headphones and spoke into a lot of mics. She and fell in love with one of the mics. I did. It's like vintage. It looks so cool. I, I probably have a picture of it because it's beautiful, but it just looks like something of the 1950s. I loved it. It was it was sick looking. It really, really cool. was. But it was like it was for like a vo it was for like vocals. Yeah. Like, so I mean, like like I said, I just. I mean, you do have a studio set up for vocals at this point. I so. do. I could just do like a, a side thing. Yes. And do you, like we could show all the Christmas. Not sure what I would do. We come all the Christmas. Christmas pack. album. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Christmas. <album. laughs> um. So yeah. So that was the main thing. But, oh, and then hold on. Then Derek got all these free T-shirts. Dude, I got a ton of free T-shirts. I actually said to her, I was like, listen. Objective today, go back around to the all the um, the different booths and get. The, but I will say this: get I was looking at in the room. Mm -hmm. Ninety percent of the t-shirts are awesome designs. I know. Awesome designs and good quality too. Yes, yes. And then, um, in there. and then what else did we do? We did something. We Bunch did something. Of speed movements. We went to a couple party. The parties at night for like oh. the, the the networking parties. I, we will see this. And again, we won't. We don't have to go down this road too much, but. It's a little weird because COVID was on the downswing. And so masks, anyone who was vaccinated wasn't wearing a mask. And now because of Delta, it's like masks are coming back. So we're, it's kind of awkward because you have half the people wearing masks, half them don't. Then half the people that are wearing masks, they take them off in certain settings where it's like, well, if you're taking it off when you're standing next to a group of people, that's, you know, it's. It's, it's very weird. It's weird. Everyone is, people are supposed to be wearing buttons where. We, we, I'm not so gonna it's lie. like it's like a color. <laughs> we were making fun. It's of a this. color coordinated system. <laughs> so you would wear a green button if you don't mind like being touched or having your hand shooken or, or shaken, being approached. Yeah. Or being approached, and then a yellow button <laughs> if you're like kind of unsure of how you feel. Like yeah, I, I would like you to come over and talk to me, but maybe you know don't like kiss me or something, yeah. right? And then red means like stay the hell away from me. Don't come any closer. Right. So I guess what we were making fun of it for, not because obviously like people should, but it's like you probably shouldn't have stuff like this if it's going to be this drastically different where like some people just don't want to be around other people at all. And then they had like these events where like there's the bar and everybody's packed into the bar mm -hmm. and these people who are packed into the bar are wearing red buttons and masks, but they're like standing shoulder to shoulder with other people. And we were just very confused. We were I, very confused. I think for me, what I would have liked is it's mandatory or it's not. And, yes. And they, like they, they, give us clear yeah, guidelines. Yeah. <laughs> if they said, Hey, ma master mandatory, master on all the time. But because it's, a, you know, it's based on whatever ambiguous. you're comfortable with. It's ambiguous. Some people are wearing them. Some people aren't. Some people, I will say this, you and I have made a conscious effort. It's tough for us not to be near each other, but it our, is. It's it, tough. It's tough. Mm -hmm. But you know, we've been kind of staying distant from everybody else. Yes. We've been doing our own we thing. We haven't have. been in groups. Even when we went out at night for the networking thing, we kind of stayed to ourselves. We stayed on the outskirts of the networking thing, and then we would just, like, show our faces and make a walkthrough, and then we would go to a different bar where there was nobody there yeah. <laughs> and hang out. But um, and, and, you know, we talked to people. It, take a shot every time, Derek, because I will say this. Also, What's absolutely. He say? No, every time I say the phrase, I will say this. Oh, my I God. I do say that, but I also say absolutely <laughs> a ton. Uh, and, and to your point, uh -huh. to your point is another one. <laughs> Hey, listen, if it, whatever it takes for you guys to get drunk, do it. I need the red button for everyday drunk. life. I'll just grab like a handful of red. Oh, what color was everyone wearing? Okay, so here's the thing. Not many people were wearing, <laughs> we're wearing the red the buttons. buttons. That's the Not many people were wearing the buttons at all. And then when we went into the, uh, the orientation, like at the first day, yeah, they spent was... the first 30 minutes talking about the buttons. Yes. And then the, the lady who was running it was like, I just need to know why one picked their color, like why you picked that color, right? So then 
she was like, why did you pick this color? And they were like, oh, I want yellow because of this. She's like, I don't know why nobody's taking the red buttons. She was like really annoyed. She was like, the red buttons are just all full. No one's taking them. And then so she went around and asked every single person, why did you choose this color? And it was just, um, it was a little, I don't know. We're hitting this person up. KMT80, your brother-in-law works for sure. You are my friend. DM, yes. DM me on Instagram. Pamela B, are you going to actually talk about something? Pamela, what is it that you think we're doing at this point with our mouths open and words coming out? <laughs> talk about a lot of shit. What, 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 what would you like us to talk about? What, is, what does something mean yeah. to you? We're definitely not going to talk about a case right now. No, we're not going to talk about a case. Oh, yeah, we're just not, we're not prepared for that, for sure. We're tired. <laughs> we're jet lagged. I've, I personally can say I've had a little too much to drink in the last couple of days. I'll say I did too. I don't, I, I don't know how, because he drank half as much as I did. That is also true. But I, I think my drink's a lot stronger. No, it was not. Okay, poll real quick. What's stronger? Don't tell him what drink you had. I won't tell him what I had. Captain and Coke or Jameson and Ginger Ale? Who had Captain and Coke? Don't I can't oh. say. I can't say. So you just gave it away. Oh God. Stephanie. Listen, I didn't have Captain and Coke. It was white rum. And the only reason I switched to rum and coke was because So you did have Captain and Coke. Yeah, I was it was white rum. Is that white? I thought it was spiced. I thought no, Captain Morgan was spiced rum. It is spiced rum, but so that's it's not white. White rum is stronger. Okay. White rum and coke or James said, look at them all. Whiskey. Okay, Whiskey but listen, is stronger. but listen, of check course. it out. Check it out. Hold on a second. Let me explain. Love you all. I switched to rum and coke because they couldn't make a good dirty martini here. Okay. They just couldn't. It's fine. I understand. So switched to rum and coke, but I was having doubles and he was having singles. And then, you, then you got me a double. I yeah, got a double I when you got it. I did. But then I had more doubles. That's possible. But again, I'm drinking whiskey. And I had like six where he had three. So I can drink him under the table. Oh, I don't Under doubt that. She's a, she's a bigger, she's definitely, a, you like, and in her defense, you were actually drinking throughout the day. We're like, we had a meal. <laughs> oh, you made, <laughs> you were drinking, like, you made me get a drink. He you peer pressured the shit out. out. He's like, you were actually day drinking this yes. entire time. Like, oh and, 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 and here's the thing about Stephanie. So, can I tell him the other story about lunch where I took you? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so, I can tell the whole story. Right? Yeah. Okay. So, and this isn't like a bad thing, but. You know, especially with COVID. So I'm like, yo, I want sushi. And there's like one uh, sushi place here, but it, we, we didn't realize it, but it's a buffet, it's buffet style. So Stephanie's like, what the fuck? You're taking me a buffet? I don't do buffets. No, no, no. So first, we didn't know it was we buffet didn't. style. We so didn't. the first day we went and we waited because it said it opened at four. And then they were like, we'll open in 10 minutes. And then they were like, we'll open 20 minutes. And then after an hour of waiting, we left and we got, I think, pizza again because yes, that's all we did. it's so good here too. And then the next day we went back and they were like, oh, we don't open to 4.30. And I was like, no, Derek, you are getting the sushi. Yes. I don't care. That's what you want and you're getting it. So we wait. Then we go and we find out it's a buffet and I was like, oh, shit. She's like, I don't do buffets. I don't eat off a buffet. Disgusting. I would they, never be caught dead eating a buffet. Because think about it. Their food's out. People are reaching over the food. All their skin cells are falling in the food. I'm just going to say that. All right? So now tell them what happened. So the buffet was bomb. <laughs> Stephanie is legit up there. Two fucking plates the first time through. She's two plates. She's like, Derek, do you want another plate? Full plates, like, oh, like literally couldn't fit uh, another piece of adamame on one of the plates if she tried. And I was like, oh, Stephanie, what, what's this? She's like, I'm not going to lie. This is delicious. It was so good. <laughs> it was so good. Listen, the pot stickers. <gasps> And they had spring this like rolls. scallion soy sauce for the pot stickers, and they had these bomb spring rolls, but they were on top of fried rice that wasn't so good. The so then we went back and good. we said, Can we just get the spring rolls and not and not the fried rice? And there was like this roasted pork with this, what was in the mustard? With oh, sabi, wasabi, yeah. with sabi mustard and these spicy green beans and the poke. The poke was banging. So good, yeah, but then it had like a spicy horseradish sauce on it. So Derek and I spent the good part of lunch arguing what was spicier, the wasabi <sighs> mustard or the what was it? Like Wasabi, uh, spicy mayo. Maybe but it's it like was, a horseradish. No, no, um, sriracha. Sriracha. Yep, sriracha mayo. I, I think the mustard was way spicier. I agree. After I had it, the, yeah. the bigger piece of it, it was like a, a pork. And to be it fair, so good. it wasn't a typical buffet. Like It wasn't like you couldn't, you couldn't <laughs> serve yourself. Everything was like Oh, individual. it was like covered in like chafing dishes yeah. and stuff too. And then they would open it for you. So yeah, no skin cells. And I feel like we were the first people there. because we They were, wouldn't even let us grab the pot stickers by yeah. ourselves. Like they opened the thing that like steamed them and like they were grabbing them for you. Like it was very, they did a very good job with it. Everything was on individual plates. You could grab the plate in its entirety. You weren't like putting your hands in Yo, stuff. Yo, I could kill some of those pot stickers right now, man. 
It was really good, but it was it was great. I was like, oh, I thought you didn't like this. And then I came back for more. We we both well, we both did okay. Yeah, I, I was crushing it too. Yeah, came back for more, and I got a whole plate of pot stickers. I just emptied all the pot stickers out, and I left one, and then I made Derek take it because I didn't want to leave it just with one. No, she was peer pressure on me the whole time because even at lunch at that buffet, which is how we segue to this, she was ordering a drink, mm -hmm. and I wasn't. And she's like, oh, no, you're having a drink. Oh, I had three glasses of wine at lunch yesterday. Three glasses of wine. Oh, we got another buffet tray coming. Oh, I'm turning this. <laughs> right there, they're stopping. Uh-oh, what's going to happen? Where are they going now? They're going back. Oh, what? I think it's because there's like a wedding or something. There's like an event. There's definitely right a reception. Yeah. Um, I did the Summer Wells case on YouTube, so I don't want to do it on Crime Weekly right after, but I do want to do it because I want to see what Derek thinks about it. What is that? What was the question? Summer Wells. Summer Wells, yes. It sounds you like say dinosaurs that, yeah. ice skating. It's even louder here. Everything is like so. Stephanie cavernous. seems good at peer pressure. I am. She is. But I would never peer pressure anybody to do anything bad. It's good for them. They just have to trust me. And let me tell you, Derek, after a drink or two, is way cooler than Derek before. I think that's most people, though, right? No, I'm cool all the time. Oh, pardon me. Yeah. Yes, I'm cooler after a drink. He's very, like, kind of uptight. And he's, like, vigilant. He's, like, always, like... Yeah, I mean, listen, a lot of bad people He's, like, there. watching I'm everything. I'm telling all you guys to be careful out there. I'd be a hypocrite but if I didn't do the same. But it's super stressful for me because I'm also an anxious person. So, like, when he's, like, being super anxious and I'm, like, anxious and I'm, like, why is he so stressed out? So I kind of, like, force him to drink. So that I like him better. <laughs> no, I definitely, I, I'll be the first to tell you guys. Like, But at the I, end of the day, he had more fun. I did. So. I did have more fun. And, and it, listen, we work hard all day. And then we, we weren't like going crazy during the day. We were just, at night, you unwind a little bit. And, you know, as parents. I did want to get a little you know, more turned up. Like I want to dance. I want like a stage. Yeah, yeah. You know, I texted Sarah Turney and I was like, Sarah, I wish you were here, man. Derek's boring. All these people are boring, and I want to get turned up. And I know you'd get turned up with me. And she was like, "Yes, I would." Mm -hmm. Not me. The drinks make it bearable. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, me and greet in England would love that. Yeah. Hello, love the channel and your channel, Stephanie. Should we take like, a couple questions? Yeah, let's take some questions. We've been on 22 minutes. We're probably down like another 10 minutes. Um, so if you got like questions about the show, behind the scenes stuff, we've been doing like a lot of talking. Um, oh, we've already talked about Jim Kirk. Can you Kirk talk Cobain. about something? <laughs> yeah, something. something. Move your lips. Freaking Deborah. Turned up and love it. They deserve this break. It's not really a break. Well, it, it wasn't a break because literally, as you guys, if you've already watched, if you watched the episode from yesterday, then you already know that we spent like four hours that night. We recorded two episodes back to back, ads and everything, so that this week we wouldn't have to have a down week where you guys wouldn't get any content. So... You will still get the regular tomorrow. Another part, part, uh, part two of Lauren Spear is going to be released, and then on Wednesday, the YouTube video will come up just like clockwork. We're not missing a beat. I've actually already listened to the audio version, it'll be out first thing in the morning. So, we didn't want to have a blackout week where you guys would be like, What the hell's going on? So, we doubled it up so that this week we could kind of enjoy it a little bit mm -hmm. more. Mm -hmm. So I just lost track. Like your talking was for some reason very comforting to me and it sort of like lulled me into a half sleep. And imagine if it was coming through a sure SM7B. Oh my B. goodness. It would be like, what did I say? Like velvet last night. <laughs> it would be amazing. Um, yes, I'm going to drink it. What's a super again. chat? What's that mean? Um, you don't have super chat turned on? What the hell is wrong with you? It's you like, say like, I don't. This is your channel too, homie. You're the one that does it. Yeah, I, I've never, this is my first YouTube live ever. Like without being on with you your, on your channel. You're right. Next time we will... I don't know what is what is a super chat. It's though? so people can like, they they like send money and then it highlights their question and stuff so I that gotcha. you can. Did gotcha. you really not know what a super chat was? I didn't did know. You want I me to just explain it. No, no, no. I didn't know what it was called, but I remember on your channel that's how yes. we get to see the comments. And yeah. that's how the yeah. I have a question. Are you guys are you guys undercover pineapple? Are we undercover pineapple depends or undercover what, pineapples? Yeah, with, depends on what version you're talking about. Yeah, we're definitely undercover pineapples. Yes. For crime weekly, yes. but no, we are we're not swingers. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I can't can't speak for Derek, but I'm not. 
Are you doing anything for Halloween for Crime Weekly? Yeah, we are. I already picked out a case for ha- for Halloween. And I, I asked Derek if he would be okay all October doing like those kinds of cases. And he said yes. So I really appreciate that because I know it's definitely not his thing. But it's going to be. How'd you meet? I think you've answered this a couple times, but um, essentially, if you guys remember, we were with um, Main Event Media and Dis- uh, Investigation Discovery. They wanted me to do a podcast. They wanted me to have a co-host. So I just said, yeah, I'm interested, you know, with COVID and stuff, I have some downtime, but I want to, I want to have a lot of influence in the host. They had a couple names, me doing my own due diligence. I researched a few people. I came across Stephanie's YouTube channel. I didn't know her at all before that. And I was just listening to the videos and I loved her storytelling, but I was impressed by her research, like the detail she went into each case. And I needed someone who was a good storyteller because I'm not, but also someone who I felt like we could balance each other well, where it wasn't like the person was completely oblivious to the research side of it, like the investigative side, and you're not. So I reached out to you on Instagram. Yeah. And then I said, can we set up a phone call? I asked you if you had a podcast or were in the process of doing one. You said no. Yeah. And I said, well, I can't say 100%, but I'd like to pitch you to the team and see if they're interested, a.k.a. I'm going to tell them that you're the one I want. That's what I did. And so the other people got bumped. <laughs> Stephanie got the call like what, like a week later. Yeah. Like a week later. And then now we're on our own. And yeah. it wasn't nothing bad with ID. We're still friends with them. We still promote their stuff. We'll still, you know, we're going to still work together down the road. Yeah. All, main event, same thing. It was just too many lawyers. And, and not even that. Like when we first talked on the phone before, you know, even everything got approved, we realized that we're very similar. Mm-hmm. And in general, we don't like having to answer to anyone. Like we kind of just want to do our own thing and we don't want to like run everything by. And then we feel like it dilutes the content when there's too many hands in the, in the too many jar. hands in the cookie jar. In the yeah. cookie jar? Too, yeah. too many hands but not with cookie COVID jar. with COVID there's no hands, in no the hands in the cookie jar. Stay out of the cookie jar. Yeah. But it, it was, it, it was, exa- we want to grow this channel the way we want to grow. And, and we when, are. And when you have other people who have control to a certain degree or having a say, when you're trying to go a certain direction, we know the direction we want to go and people have a different opinion. And then, you know, to be honest with you, they're not as invested in it as we are. No. And, they, they, and we always know. wanted to go in the same direction, but it seemed like they yeah. wanted to go in a different direction. So, and we have big plans, like super dude, we got some good ideas, big plans for crime weekly expanding. Like we're building an empire here and we really appreciate you guys being a part of this community and a part of, you know, what we are growing because we're excited. Like when you find somebody that you can partner with in business and be friends with, and you're similar and you're both kind of focused in the same thing, it's, it's powerful because you can accomplish more as a team than you can on your own. And so now that we have that. Can I join your empire? She says. Yeah. We, the empire is open. Stephanie is still married. Adam's, Adam's the man. Oh, I, I wouldn't even address those questions. They know very well. She's got the rock on her finger. Bam. There it is. <laughs> Day oneers love that. They know very well that we are both married to other people. They're just trying to start trouble. Who are who are you rooting for, uh, BB? Xavier. Dream team. Is Derek married? Yes, I'm married, too, as well. Both happily married. Happily married. A bunch of fucking kids. <laughs> mm-hmm. I mean, we might eventually just, like, start a commune Dude, and real. all live together so we can work and then you know just like have big family dinners at the end of the night it'll be like a what are those things called pods sure. where they just like isolate people together like content creators and then they just like bust out content like the like called? the face house yeah like yeah. that <laughs> but not like that okay <laughs> like I'm, that stephanie's from new like york that. and i'm from rhode island not long island rhode island i have two kids Oh, you want me to know? Yeah, I have three say, kids. I have three kids. Will you guys time. ever bring fans on to give opinions on what happened to some of the victims? What do you mean? Bring them on where? True Crime Content House? I know, right? Can I? We can, should have a reality show. Can I, can I tell them? Is that a bad idea? I can? You don't think it's a bad idea. Okay. Do you so, think it's a bad idea? No, I don't. Okay. So because you guys are on here, this is our first live. We're going to tell you something that we're planning that exclusive to you guys right now so this is our plan when COVID is really under control which is not going to be for a while 
Stephanie and I are planning to travel around the country doing a podcast tour. We're going to come to the most, you know, requested places and we're going to cover a case from that location. So not only are we going to talk about the case in person with you guys in like an audience setting, we're going to kind of like crowd solve mm -hmm. as well where you guys will be so in, much fun. It's going to be interactive where we're going to literally work on a local case with you guys we're going to drink some wine, uh -huh. have some drinks. Yep. Derek yeah. won't probably drink. Him. I will have a drink or two, but if we're working on cases, I got to be, I got to be sharp, but that's the plan for the future. And that's what we're trying to build up equipment now too, like to get it all stuck. But the chat's going crazy. So I think they like it. You like it? Mm. Yep. It's going crazy. We can't read the comments right now. It's going nuts, but Come that's to the Canada. Plan. We want, we actually have a, a case. We want to go to Canada for correct. Yes, we do. Amber Tucker. Yes. And we have some information have on that some, case yeah. that nobody else has. Some new info. Zodiac and Manson and, oh, damn. Come to Memphis. Oh. Dude, I can't even read I'm going to put on my blue suede shoes. Dallas. Yeah, absolutely. No, but that is the plan. And we again, if it wasn't for COVID, we would have already been setting it up. But we might do like one or two states. Well, we had a couple of different ideas. Maybe do them all at once. Well, we can... Um, you know, it's like when, when anybody goes on a tour, like there's a couple of cities and then they're like kind of close together and then you do those and then you take a little break because we, but we have families. And so we, we can't, research be, the cases first. can't be on the road all the time. But we, we might have, have families one of you. And we have Crime Weekly and I forgot the podcast and Derek, you know, believe it or not, has a job too. And we'll invite the families of the victim that they want to come, mm -hmm. law enforcement, if yep. they want to come. Uh, it'll be an open, we're not going to like, you know. It'll be a, a literal like hive mind kind yes, of thing. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. and, and again, yes. We're there to like enjoy each other's company, have some fun, but also maybe try to do some good. Mm -hmm. And I mean, that's a fucking, that's a great time. Uh, Can we do Indiana? Uh, I just said, Indi I think that's Indiana. And we've done two in the last. Indian. Uh, Indian. Oh, Indian cases. Yeah, like India. Oh. Yeah. I'm sure we could. I mean, is it like, well, uh, what was that? It's hard sometimes yeah. to do like international cases, especially if they're not well known, because when you do the research, it's like, it's in a different language and Google translate, bless his heart. He doesn't really, he's not as good at, at other languages as he thinks he is. Any cool self-defense items. All right. I'm going to show you guys. I practice what I preach and I wasn't prepared for this, but I'm going to show you my backpack is holding up our laptop right now. And so by the way, just so you guys know, we're only, we only got about 17% left on our laptop, but hold that laptop for a second. This is in my backpack right now. All right. You can put it down. All right, so this is in my back. This is what I carry around all the time. And this is what I carry with me just because. So I have this right here. You guys have seen this before. This is a GTFO um, um, coffin uh, tram, uh, stamp. Coffin tramp stamp. Coffin tramp pencil. So it looks like a pencil, but really it's polymer and it's super sharp. And it'll stab through a body, no problem. No issue. How sharp is that? It's sharp and it doesn't write. But it like, does not write. But like, it's, let's not, say, it's not graphite. It's, yeah, it, let's say you get kidnapped, right? And you're like in the car with somebody and they're driving you away. You just grab this out. Dude, it'll it'll literally like I got nervous there. I'm not gonna lie. I got nervous. But that'll that is I would never no I would never hurt him. That is lethal. Like the yeah, polymer it's rod. Very sharp. The polymer rod runs all the way through it. So you grab it here, it, it's a knife. But it's, it looks just like a regular pencil. It, it literally has a real eraser on it, everything. So that's one. Second, you guys know this, the get the fuck out bracelet. So this is a little, I, I actually customized mine. Mine has like beads that Tenley put on there. It says, I love you, daddy. But on it, it has a little piece of metal. It's um, an armor piercing metal. Basically, you can take this off, use it as a slingshot and break through glass. And then the final thing, which I really like because it's kind of inconspicuous, is this thing right here. It's just a piece of polymer. Again, it looks like nothing. It really this, you, this will pass through the airport, no problem. It has a little bit of a point on it, not much, but what it's this is kind of graphic. But what you do is you grab it like this, and if you punch someone with it, well, you do the math. Wouldn't like a, a car key do the same thing though? Kind of, yeah. But the, how much more comfortable is that than a it's car way key? Way more comfortable, right? Yeah, isn't that great? Way more. Like, I'll have to get you one. That's it's great. It's like it's um. It, it's like a brass. Can I have knuckle. a baby blue one or do they only come in yellow? I think he only makes them in yellow. I have to find out. It's like not very inconspicuous. Like look at this big yellow thing in but my But if hand. you saw that in your purse or whatever, like you wouldn't know that what that's for. No. It just it just you just think it's a piece of plastic. Yeah, it's like or molded like for your finger, so it's super comfortable. But if you like push that into my arm, it's not going anywhere. It locks into your wrist. 
You see, Does it hurt? Am no, I hurting look at you? It. It's it's sharp. It like it little it'll puncture. Oh, it is sharp. Oh yeah, it'll it'll hurt you, dude. It'll it'll mess you up. So those those are the three things that I carry, and I'm I'm a pretty big guy. You know what I mean? I'm a pretty good sized guy, and I can handle myself. But even I have tools with me at all times, even at a place like podcast movement where I'm not expecting anything bad to happen, but you prepare for the worst and hope for the best. That's the way I live my life. So when I tell you guys that it's not like a gimmick, that's literally, as she said, I'm vigilant. Like I'm constantly on the lookout for that stuff because if something goes on, I want to be one of the first to react. I mean, it's nice. I guess if something happened, I would be. You're golden. I'd be fucking oblivious. Yeah, but. <laughs> you're golden. You'll be sitting there drinking your wine. I'd just be sitting there drinking my wine. <laughs> but that's the thing too. Like you're in a hotel, and you yes. think, "Well, I'm in a hotel. Like this is safe." But it's a huge hotel. Like you guys saw when I showed you guys on on the other live, like this much of it, and it's so large. And I'm sure there's cameras everywhere. But at the same time, like anybody can come in the hotel who's not staying here. Like I had to. Uh, DoorDash Zyrtec because I wasn't going to leave the hotel because I don't feel safe to leave and walk around a, a city I'm not familiar with. And so the DoorDash person just came, like came right up to my room. Nobody stopped him. Nobody questioned him. So the yellow thing, we're both Aquarius. What's that thing say on it? It's STS. I'll try to get links to it. I got it. I, I don't know exactly what it's called. A lot of the stuff I get sent to me, guys. Um, some of it I buy, but like the pencil I bought, the, the band I bought that, um, anyone who watched Breaking Homicide, Frank, you guys never saw his face, but you heard him and saw him on the show, like his back, you know, shadow. He sent that to me. So I'll find out from him. Frank will probably be watching this. Come to Kansas and cover the Wichita massacre. Oh, um, this is going to, I'm going to show him one more thing. You guys are going to think I'm fucking crazy. I'm going to be honest. Because I go all out. This is, um, this is um, Kevlar cord. This is Kevlar cord. It can cut through uh, zip ties. So if you take this and tie it around your shoes, you can and you're restrained oh, by zip ties. What if you made that your shoelace? You could do that too. It would it would it's feel all sharp like rigid it is. And then I got more goodies. Then I got more goodies. Do okay. you think you could like so, um, choke someone with it? So I'm I'm trained in lock picking. So again, if we're in a situation, I have a little lock picking rod, I have a little saw, I have a little handcuff key, and I have my um, lock picking tool. So these are the three tools if anyone's familiar with lock picking. For most standard locks. If anyone's familiar with lock picking, this is how you this is a common thing you should be familiar this with. This is how you break into a lock. So like I can a, pick like a cat I can, burglar. I can pick most of the locks in this place. So Derek's the guy you want to be with if yeah. something goes down. Because whether you're locked somewhere or you're in a car, yeah, whatever. But it's all you he's know, got Kevlar cord, <laughs> knife pencil. Handcuff key. You never know when you're gonna need a handcuff key. You never know. Right? But look how, but you know what the key to it is, I'll tell you if it's kind of the same way, even if you're not a fan of firearms. You never want I, – people ask me, like, what firearm should I buy for self-defense? I always say the one that you're willing to carry because if you buy something that's too big, you're not going to take it with you, and therefore it doesn't serve a purpose. The same thing goes for self-defense tools. If you're going to bring stuff, you want to bring stuff that you can put it away, forget about it. Because I, I literally forgot about it until you guys said something. But in an emergency situation, I would think, like, I wish I had – oh, wait, I do. So that's kind of the way I, I always pack stuff or bring stuff that I know – it's not going to be inconvenient because otherwise I'll forget to bring it or I'll just choose not to. That's all I got. Now everyone thinks I'm crazy, probably. I'm like Inspector Gadget over here. No one thinks you're crazy. You can pick locks. That's cool, man. I mean, I could pick a lock. Pick, lock picking is fun. Can you teach me? Oh, absolutely. It's not hard. It's honestly not hard. It's just repetition. I'm going to be a lock picking master soon. Aquarius here too. What day is? I am the eighth, and he's the third. Mm -hmm. Yep. Ezra McCandless, Candless, yeah. Ezra McCandless. This is a very complicated, in-depth case. So yes, Crime Weekly can actually definitely cover it. I want to be trapped with Derek. <laughs> you'll be golden. I got you. I don't know if that was sexual, but either way, we'll take it. Either way, you'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take the compliment. <laughs> All right. Is Crime we man. Don't poke yourself. I'm not gonna poke myself. Then that's what they said. I'm not going to. Please come to Charleston, South Carolina, one of my favorite cities in the whole world. I love Charleston. That kind of scares me that Stephanie will learn to pick locks. Yeah, you and me both. <laughs> 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 because I would want to practice it. I'd just be going around like breaking in everywhere. I don't want to be like, dude, stop picking the locks. You're leaving them all. Every time open. we go, we go to like hotels, Derek's like, enough. 
I know I taught you how to do that, but like you're abusing it now. <laughs> well, it's, it's, I like the little gadgets, man. Like I said, it's, it's, you know, it's useless until you need it. Where in Rhode Island are you from? Uh, I won't say exactly where I'm from, but I, I am in, I'm Northern Rhode Island. What's the um, biggest argument we've ever had? I don't think we've had a big argument. We haven't had an we've argument. We've had disagreements on cases, but no argument. No, I, I'm trying to think. Like, Do you think we'll ever have an argument? Of course. You think? Absolutely. As we get bigger and there's bigger decisions. I'll probably cry if you yell at me. No, I, we don't, arguments don't have to be yelling. Yeah, don't. They could just be a <laughs> disagreement where we're like, you know what? To Let's me, like an argument is like I'm getting yelled at. Yeah, Otherwise, no. it's just like a conversation. I mean, like I mean, a, an aggressive conversation. Yeah, an aggressive conversation. That's yeah. what we have passionate conversation yes i've got nine percent better guys you have nine percent we have what click on that bad boy eight we're at eight percent very similar oh covering yeah july davis is another case i actually wrote that down last week my first comment on youtube ever and i have to say you look amazing thank you I don't feel amazing. I feel jet lagged and it's really humid here. So my skin is reacting badly. My money's on Stephanie in a fight. I agree. I mean, it depends. I have to get a jump on him with this pencil. Big jump. <laughs> Big jump. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> she get Why does it look so drastic? And I have combat boots on. Yeah. So. Yeah. She's like ready for the war. I got some height and he's still much taller than me. The Italian and Stephanie would come out in that argument. I did not. I think I, I think I've been like, like mouthy with him before. Like I've definitely been like mouthy with Derek. And I'm just like, I'll call you back. And no, but he like just ignores it. And then I'm like, oh, he's just going to ignore it. And then I get a little mouthier and then he just ignores it. And then I'm like, all right, this isn't working. <laughs> <laughs> you have to treat me like a child sometimes. <laughs> just don't give me, don't give me attention for negative things. This is the second time we met. In person. Yeah. Yes. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. That's true. Oh. That's if you can I can't even out. imagine you falling. You're like a tree. No, I mean, not that. Uh, you're like solid though, man. Oh, you guys seem uh, cute. You guys seem so close. Yeah, same person. Was I a, bo a Boy Scout? No, I wasn't. I was a Boy Scout. I was a Boy Scout on the streets. <laughs> you were a Boy Scout on the concrete streets? Boy concrete Boy Scouts. <laughs> Hello from EP Rhode Island. East Providence. Yep, I'm about I'm about 15 minutes from you. Partners in crime talk. Yo, that's like a great. Partners in crime is a great name for a podcast. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna write that down. How about doing a case on the Butterbox Babies? I don't know what that is, but it sounds interesting. What do we have left for clock? Six percent. Six. Well, why don't you ask him? Okay, so. Partners in Crime Talk is a good segue. You wanted to ask them, and I agree because we don't know. If we just did something, you, you know what I'm talking about, right? Where I'm going with this, the TV thing, documentary, you and I commenting. I'll just say it. So <laughs> <laughs> Stephanie has an idea where we might do something that's subscription-based, completely different from this. This is going to be what it is. But we would watch crime, true crime documentaries and movies and then have like a, a – like a subscription-based thing where we could have where a smaller community. we discuss it and go over like what we thought about it. Okay, I know where you're going now. Yes. Sorry, it took me a second. Yes. So we already watched true crime documentaries and stuff, and then we talk about it. But I was like, I think it would be interesting if we talked about it where like other people could hear, and it could become like a discussion with you know whoever wants to be a part of that podcast. Yeah, and it would then be it a smaller be, group. Yeah, obviously it would be a smaller group, but it could be like a discussion, and, and it'll almost be like a book club where we'll be like, okay, this week we're gonna watch this documentary, so everybody go and watch it. And then we'll talk about it and we can um, even go live and talk about it. So you guys can be a part of the conversation, but we'll do that once a week. So let us know if that's something you'd be interested in. That's something they talked about a lot here, uh, podcast movement, and we're not doing it. We don't want to necessarily do it for this channel because we want to grow this channel. Mm -hmm. But we the, the paywall does two things. It is going to obviously be a smaller group because not everyone's going to want to pay, which is great because we can be more hands-on, one-on-one with yeah. people. And two... We talk about marketing. We talk about upgrading equipment. That's a way of doing it where we're not pandering for money, but you're getting value out of that. 
for the, out of that subscription, and it would be a very low low amount. So they they gave like a whole yeah. And we want to go like like you said, we want to go on the road. We want to yes. travel. We want to do cost money. live podcasts. We're talking travel, hotel, equipment. stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yep, absolutely. And even merchandise. If we're gonna sell merchandise there, it's not like you're ordering it online. We would have to order enough merchandise and enough sizes to have on location, on so that we'd be putting all that money up front. So you you guys are not stupid. Obviously, everything comes with a value amount that we're realizing now. So we're trying to prepare for that while we can. So I think it was Cassandra. She said, please, I've been waiting to become a Crime Weekly Patreon. Yeah, we're going to set something up. It'll be more informal. It won't be script-based. It's going to be way more informal. It's going to be way more like just us, kind of like this, you know, just us being ourselves, talking about what we think, like, oh, I didn't like this person. Like, let's say we're talking about the Cecil Hotel documentary. I might say something like, you know, the manager of the Cecil Hotel kind of seems like suspicious because of the way she talks about Elisa Lamb. And the, the pencil. <laughs> oh, I was making you nervous. Because the way she talks about Elisa Lamb and the way she talks about the Cecil Hotel, like it's an amazing place when really it's this horrible place where like a lot of horrible things have happened. We would talk about that and we'd kind of go off on that. So yeah, no, it could be fun. It could be fun. We'll, we'll work it out. That's more <laughs> She's a weirdo. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Discord. I've thought about doing a Discord. Discord's a whole nother, another animal because I don't want to like neglect anything we do as it is it's tough to respond to all the youtube comments all the instagram comments so but i think that i think the um the weekly or monthly whatever it is where we do like a you know we watch a movie will you guys do a q a sometime anytime yeah, you want of course yeah of course that's kind of why we came on today yeah and we would actually we're at four percent we would have stayed on longer so if by chance this shuts off that's why which it will it's going to yes well you know what also killed the battery faster we have a camera and a mic running off of it I didn't think about that. Those yeah. are being powered by this. I guess. Does well, should we sign off so we don't hang up on everyone? Yeah. Okay. Why don't you do the honors? Guys, thank you so much for being here. We can go live more on Crime Weekly. I'm definitely going to be going live more on Stephanie Harlow. I miss I miss going live. Um, but we, we can do it. And I lost my train of thought again. Oh, we got to go because the battery's dying. But make sure, make sure you are subscribing to the Crime Weekly channel, the podcast channel. Go over and follow it on your podcast platforms. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter. You know what I would appreciate? What? And this is a little bit of a lie, but we're the, us and the 1,200 people in here, it's a secret between us. We have forty to 50,000 downloads on every episode for the audio version. Right now, we only have 25 rating, uh, 2,500 ratings. Even if you only listen to the YouTube version, if you could go over there and just give us a five star like on the uh, Apple Podcast app, you don't even have to make a comment. Just give it a five, five. star like. Put a bunch of pineapple emojis. Yeah, put a put a pineapple emoji so we know it's from here yeah. from this because we want to get that number up because we're in the top one hundred every week. We want to be in the top ten, right? We want to be the best. Yeah, <laughs> really. But I would appreciate that because I see it. I'm like, I see we have tens of thousands of listens every week, but we people don't take the time to go over and rate it. Because they just, you know, I get it. It's like an extra step. They don't want to do it. But oh, look at all the pineapples. I, I love you guys. It. So, yeah. So, go do those pineapples on Apple Podcast. Click on our. I just want to bite click, your hand right now because it's like flying in front of my face. Click, <laughs> click, click on our podcast and just give it. You don't even have to leave a rating. But if you want to, leave a five-star review and put a pineapple so we know that it came specifically from this YouTube live. Yeah. We love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. It was really fun, actually, but our, the battery is going to die. We'll do it more often. There's no outlets anywhere here. None. Yeah, we'll do it more often. We just won't be together. Well, we, we, we do remotely like we did before. Yeah. Okay. We'll see you guys later. I'm going to shut this off so we don't hang up on you. Later. Love you. Bye.